back to another video. I hope you're all doing good. Thank you guys for coming back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to make this spiral boning flans. You can use any fabric of your choice. You'll be needing the resin boning and the light scuba fabric. So I'm going to use of one yard. This is 16 inches by length. One yard will be enough for the tutorial. You can style it on your shoulder. You can style it on the sleeve. It depends on what you want to do with it. We'll be adding it to the shoulder. Front shoulder measurement is 36 inches. Divided by 4 is 9 inches. We divide the 9 inches by 6.28. You all know that 6.28 is the formula we use for flared or circle. I divided into 4 because I'll be cutting out 4 circles. 9 divided by 6.28 is 1.4. The radius is 1.4 the smaller the radius, the fuller fold effect you will get. And I'll be cutting it out like a circle. If you like, you can cut it like a influence. If you want to use a influence method, you can check my video. I have the tutorial in my channel. But I'll be cutting this out like a flag. I want to have that drip effect. So go ahead and then fold the fabric into two. So this is the boning. I'm using a reddening boning. So this is the one you can sew on. You can sew on this, but if you're making use of the one you cannot sew on, you just create a channel and then they fold it inside. So I will just explain everything to you guys as we move on. We'll go ahead and fold our fabric. I'll fold the fabric into two. The length of the flanks I'm cutting out is 8 inches and the radius is 1.4. We add the radius and the length together. 8 plus 1.4 is 9.5 so I will measure here to see if it's up to 9.5 yeah, I have 10 inches here fold it like so I'm folding it again it's folded into 4 now I will check this side also to see if it's up to 9.4 here so I'll go to this side and mark 1.4 round I'll mark it around like so, 1.4. So from this 1.4, I will mark 8 inches. That's the length. Connect the lines together. So I'll go ahead and cut the 1.4 inches first. And cut out the length. So I'll use this to cut out the remaining material. I'll be cutting out four of these. So guys, I've cut out the four circle. If you don't want to use this method, you can use the other one, the Florence method. I have it in my channel. Go ahead and open one side. I'll open one side. You can see the drip. We open up the remaining three, then join them together. I will go ahead and they join them together, right side facing right side. So I will use a quarter of an inch to join them together. I didn't also in allowance to because it's a stretchy fabric. But for the bottom part, you can add half inch to it for the sewing allowance. So I'll go ahead and join the four together. Use a quarter of an inch to join them. So guys, I'm done joining them together. So what we are going to do next is to stitch the original bone into the fabric. This is the damp part. I will take my bone and place it like so. I will stitch on top here. I will just stitch it here, maybe after two lines stitch it here before the middle so I'll make sure this other fabric remaining is enough to cover up this part so I'll leave half inch here 
So I'm stitching it on the wrong side of the fabric. So you can come along with me. I'll show you guys how we do it. So guys, I'm using a matching thread. Make sure you use a matching thread. I will place it like so. So I'll cut the remaining bone out. So after stitching the first stitch, I will still follow the first stitch I made. So what I will do is just to fold this one inside. I'll fold this half inch uh, allowance inside and then turn it like so. Then stitch on top of this first line. Make a top stitch on top of this first line. So, I'll make it like so. So guys, I'm done with the stitching. You can style it whichever way you want to. If it's not full, you can add to it, make a double steps. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Love you. Bye.